Example 1, direct proportion with equation. The force acting upon an object can be modelled by the following equation, f equals ma. The force on an object is increased from 20 newtons to 120 newtons. The mass of the object stays the same. Find the factor by which the acceleration changes. Well, this is direct proportion. What that means is as one goes up, the other one goes up. So in this case, if the force has gone up, then one of these must have gone up. But we know mass has stayed the same. So that must mean acceleration has gone up by the same factor. So let's figure out what factor the force has gone up by. Well, 120 divided by 20 is 6. So the force has gone up by a factor of 6. And as I've just said, the acceleration will have to go up by the same factor. So the answer for the first part is just 6. The second part, the acceleration of an object is decreased from 4 meters per second squared to 2 meters per second squared. If the original force was 8 newtons, find the new force and the mass of the object. Let's tackle the mass first. So the mass won't change. We know to start with, the original force was 8 newtons. And that will be equal to ma, but we know that the acceleration is 4. So 8 is equal to 4m in this case, because a is 4. So that must mean m is 2. And this is going to be in kilograms, because that's the SI unit. So then, applying the fact that the acceleration has halved, we know the mass will stay the same, the force will also halve. So to go from 4 to 2, we've divided by 2. So we need to figure out what 8 reduces down to. And we're going to reduce by the same factor. So we're going to divide by 2 again, which reduces it down to 4 newtons. You can also check this by subbing into the equation. Because let's imagine we don't know the force yet. But we do know the mass stays the same. And that's 2. And then the acceleration is now 2. So it's ma, 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So again, you can see we get 4 newtons. Example 2, inverse proportion with equation. The number of painters painting a house is inversely proportional to the time taken to complete it. What that means is if there's more painters, it takes less time. If there's less painters, it takes more time, and so on. So they go in the opposite direction. Where the number of painters is P, and the time taken in hours is T, and then there's some constant K that we're not sure of yet. It takes four painters eight hours to paint the house. How long would it take eight painters? There's two different approaches. I'll show you both. The first of which is to sub in the values that we know and find the constant. So four painters, so P is four. So it's going to be K over four. And we know that takes eight hours. So K over four is eight. Solving this for K, we're going to times by four and we'll end up with K equals 32. So you can rewrite the equation as T equals 32 over P. So now for any value of P, you can sub it into this equation and find how long it would take. So they want to know how long it would take eight painters. So we can do t equals 32 over eight. 32 divided by eight is four. So it would take four hours. Another way of thinking about it is, well, the number of painters has doubled. So the time taken will half. So what I mean by that is we've gone from four painters to eight, I'm going to put P for painters, that has doubled. And as I said at the start, if the number of painters increases, the time decreases by the same sort of proportion. So we're going from eight hours and we're going to decrease by the same factor. So instead, we're going to divide by two in this case, eight divided by two is four. So you can see two methods there. This way is the sort more sort of more algebraic method. This way is the, the sort of more logical method, if that makes sense. Either way is absolutely fine. If you found this video useful, why not try the Topic Exam and All Learning platform? Here you can answer a series of questions and get instant feedback on how you've done. So you can see a written solution here and then also a video solution where an expert will talk you through exactly how to solve the problem.